show y'all. Um, I can, uh, the reason I was laughing is because every time I would try to touch the button to turn the video on, <laughs> I'd hit a bump in the road and I would miss it. Hey, you got to get your laughs where you can get them, okay? Um, for instance, this morning I was putting some things on the grocery list, so I was sitting in uh, Terry's cave with my phone, and I had been uh, going through, you know how you get plastic containers, and you don't know how it happens, but you have more containers than you have lids, or you have more lids than you have containers. Now, that's usually what happens to me, because I take little ones outside, and I use them all the time, or I used to in my other life. But, um, anyway, so I had my bottom drawer open by uh, the stove, and that's the drawer that I've been trying really not to use very much, because that's where I want to put a dishwasher someday. Either that, or move into a van, you know, one or the other. But, um, so I was walking past there on the way to my chair, and I saw the drawer was open, and of course I would trip on that. So I shut it and I didn't sh couldn't shut it all the way. And I thought, well, there's a lid caught back in there. I'll get it when I get up. So I sat down and pretty soon I hear this meow, meow. <laughs> I went over to the drawer and Miss Lily had gotten in the drawer and then went behind the drawer while it was open and there was that big space back there. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't try to shove that drawer in there because she would have got squished. Um, so you just kind of, you know, you got to get your laughs where you can. And um, let's see, anything else funny been going on in my life? Hmm. Well, some I can't share, but they're so crazy that somebody would call and have me, you know, picked up. <laughs> Where have all the trolleys gone? You know, I was just talking to a friend about that um, the other day, and we were talking about a couple of people that just were tortured. Now, I was bothered a lot by this poor old guy, but I wouldn't say I was tortured. But, um, you know, people have shut down their channels. I'm picking up drugs in case y'all want to know. I'm all, it seems like I'm always picking up drugs now. It's either for me or for Terry. I need to put our pharmacies at the same place. Oh, gosh, y'all, it must be getting, yep, getting close to 3 o'clock. That's nap time. Whether you take one or not, that's, get out of the road, sweetie. I don't want to hit you. That'd hold me up. Uh, what was I going to say? Drugs, picking up drugs, getting drugs. Oh, I'm taking, um, returns back to, um, Kohl's and the UPS store. Hopefully, some of my very last... I'm sorry, y'all, this is noisy, but I've got to get this sunshine up here or my windshield's going to crack. Anyway, um, so, why was I making this video, y'all? I think it's just because I'm pre-programmed. I get in the van and it's like, oh, time to make a video but really I did have a I did have a subject what was it oh I know what I was gonna talk about y'all in fact I I intended to do a video on this because it is so important and when I tell y'all what this video is about you will totally understand 
I have ordered, I think today they're going to deliver my fifth lightweight comforter. Yeah. Why five, you ask? Well, I guess there are very few people in the world that really know. Now, here it comes. The, are y'all paying attention? Don't be drinking anything. Don't be sitting on the toilet. Please don't be sitting on the toilet, okay? <laughs> Not that I would know it. But... There are very few people in this world that know what the color pink looks like. Isn't that horrible, y'all? I mean, today will be the fifth little comforter that I have ordered that says pink. And when I get it, you know what color it is? It's, it's this color. Can y'all see that? It's delicate. But what color is that? It's peach. It is not pink. I mean, every time they, Amazon truck had come by, and of course, you know, uh, one of Mariah's most endearing little qualities is she barks at everything. Every time Stephanie's dog, Mariah, not Mariah, Stephanie's dog, um, Maverick, comes out to piddle, she barks. I mean, she just barks. And, um, so, uh, and he can't get her to stop. Terry can't get her to stop. He's like, shh, shh, no. I say, Mariah, no. She shuts up. I don't know, you know. But um, she still loves me, though. Anyway, I, I have just been like, every time I open one of those comforters, and it's peach, I've got one right now that's bulging out of the little box but I can't show you the color of it. And on the box it says, blush pink. It's peach. Now, it was, the, well the one that I still have at home that I haven't done a return for is the closest to pink that I've gotten so far. So I'm really hoping the one that comes today is going to be the one. And y'all, I haven't shown them to you because they are nothing but very basic little, just very basic, uh, inexpensive little comforters. Because you know whether it's my cot, which I'm on now, they came and got the um, click clack bed, the gray one this morning and um but it, you know it it just I don't know I, I don't get it I mean there are shades of pink my of course my favorite is baby pink baby pink everybody knows baby pink is an amazing pale pink color my fave And there's hot pink, and there's, you know, and there's like, some people used to call that awful, awful color mauve. They would call that pink. Rose pink. No rose I ever saw look like mauve. But anyway, that has just been my dilemma. And I really hated to share that with y'all because I know you'll be just as devastated as I am. I mean, today, if it comes while I'm out and I have to go home to another peach-colored comforter, I don't know what I'm going to do. 
I don't know. It's terrible. The problems that I have to suffer with and agonize over. I mean, it's incredible. I don't know how I can carry on. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all though, Amazon is going to cut me off. I mean, how can they not? Last night, Jerry was with me and he was helping me. We moved the gray click clack you know outside and I took the feet and the parts and all of that stuff off and I had kept all the packaging and, and everything and as soon as I got it and I and I um you know we set it up and everything I sat on it and then I kind of laid on it for a minute and then right after that I put two um mattress pads on it and a, a sheet and so really the actual fabric itself never got used so um, anyway oh, I have another one coming it's a diff it's a click clack but it's uh, it says khaki green now, in the picture, it looks purdy. It's just a real kind of a muted, you know, green. Not like forest green and not like grass green. It's, it's a real soft, muted color. But you never know what you're going to get. I mean, if you've got people that don't know what pink is, how do they know what khaki green is? It's probably baby pee green, or baby poop, I should say. But anyway, uh, so I told Jerry last night, I said, you know, I was just thanking God for you today that, that you helped me with so much stuff, and stuff like this that's heavy and that I cannot do by myself. And then I stopped myself. And I'm like, you know what, Lord? I don't know that he is that much of a blessing. Wouldn't you really call him an enabler? I mean, you know, he really is. Think about it, y'all. I could not do these big, heavy uh, orders and returns if I did not have him to help me. So I told him. I said, you're just an enabler. That's all you do. I said, you always, you make fun of me. When I tell you, oh, I think this is the one I'm going to get, he says, oh, well, you know, text me in 10 minutes and tell me which one you changed your mind to. I mean, he makes fun of me because I, I do change my mind all the time. I change my mind before I realize that I'm changing my mind. It's terrible. Now, I've been joking the whole video, but I am going to tell y'all, all joking aside, that is just horrible. That, that horrible, I can't decide on anything when I do, and then I, I get it or I do it. I, I don't like it or I wish I hadn't have done that. It is horrible. But I'm trying to just, you know, accept myself for who I am. I was going to get a more expensive one. Jerry, of all people, you know, his favorite things come from the side of the road. And some of my favorite things he's gotten from the side of the road. But, but you know, he said don't go cheap don't go cheap you spend a third of your life in bed well I got news for him I think more than a third of my life has already passed but you know I don't like to get into arguments with him about that stuff because somehow he always wins even when I'm right so I, I'm trying to learn to just 
you know, cut my losses. But anyway, it really is a terrible thing, and I'm trying so hard not to just, you know, it is the way it is, no matter how hard I try, no matter what I say. I changed my mind. Think of all the times I wouldn't have gotten married or I would have gotten married if I hadn't changed my mind at the last minute. So sometimes it's not bad to change your mind, but when you do it like you change your underwear, I mean, it's bad. It's just bad. It takes up so much of your time. But um, life's just poking along, y'all. Uh, we go to podiatrist appointments and lab appointments. and uh, I'm so glad my psychiatrist just calls me. How you doing, Deb? She's this itty bitty little Asian lady, Dr. Kai. And uh, I say, I'm fine, but how are you doing? How do you handle this listening to everybody complain all day long? And she just gives this little laugh. And I said, don't you just go home and stick your head under the water in the bathtub so you can't hear anything anymore? Um, but I said, you know, I know there has to be some kind of pretty interesting stuff that you hear, though. And she laughed, and she said, sometimes. But um, she's a sweetheart, and uh, she just makes sure that I'm doing okay. So that's all that's going on, y'all. Nothing else except laundry and cleaning and sorting and ordering and sending back and going to the grocery store, you know, Walmart, and then going to the drugstore and dropping off Amazon stuff. I'm a lot busier than I like to be, y'all. I was so spoiled in the van, and I was also talking to a friend about that, how simple my life was. There goes a rolling truck of happiness right there. I need to call you, sweetie. I hope you're doing okay. Um, anyway, I, you know, and, and so when I was in the van, it was just so simple. It was incredibly simple. And I wouldn't mind being a little, you know, more than that simple, but boy, I sure would. I, I, I have been playing solitaire until my mind goes numb. It's the only way that I can just quit thinking. I just look at those numbers and they confuse me so much and you know, it goes, ding, 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 you won. <laughs> I'm procrastinating. <laughs> I'm using y'all, and I'm procrastinating, and you're doing it with me. So that makes you an enabler, doesn't it? <laughs> I really, seriously, I got to get going. It's hot in this van. But um, anyway, that's it, y'all. I love you. I miss you. I know I don't even talk to y'all anymore, and I... I have no excuse. I'm, I think I'm just getting, uh, there's a disease for that, but I just call it laziness. You know, next thing you know, I'll be sitting in my recliner right next to Terry doing absolutely nothing. I don't know who's going to feed us, but well, maybe we'll just start ordering in. But I love y'all, and I hope you're safe, and I hope you're healthy. And I hope your families are too. And so, those of y'all out there that are pissed off at me and don't love me anymore and you're mad at me, it's okay. That's okay. I love you anyway. So, do something fun today. This ain't it for me. This, all of this stuff. Mm -mm. But, I will talk to you again. Bye now.